Good day, everyone. I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We've got a strong system that's off the coast here. It's going to be moving through tonight and also into Wednesday. Going to give us more rain, wind, and in many cases for the mountains, some pretty good snow coming up, especially for the Cascades and the Siskiyou Mountains as this cold front moves through later tonight and also into Wednesday. We'll have more chances for snow and rain actually behind this system as well later Wednesday night, but especially Thursday as well. All right, because of this system, we have some high wind warnings to talk about. This is especially for the coast down towards Port Orford and Gold Beach. South and southwest winds kicking up from 20 to 45 miles per hour. There could be some higher wind gusts. It is a wind advisory down towards Crescent City, so they're not expecting overall as much wind, but there'll still be some pretty good winds out of the south and southwest. And for the coast, that a that high wind warning remains in effect through 4 a.m. Wednesday, and it's until 1 p.m. Wednesday for the Shasta Valley, especially down towards Weed. We're expecting south and southeast winds 25 to 45 miles per hour with some stronger gusts as well. And from 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. Wednesday, east of the Cascades, especially for the higher terrain. We're talking also about uh, the higher terrain in Lake County and also down towards the Warner Mountains in Modoc County. So again, we'll be watching out for the wind. All right, we talked about the wind. Now we're going to talk about the snow. Now this is good news again for the Cascades and also the Siskiyou Mountains. This is you, Mount Ashland, and also Mount Shasta Ski Park. Significant snowfall is expected later tonight into tomorrow, and more snow is actually expected later Wednesday night into Thursday as well. But first things first, this winter storm warning in the pink is in effect from 4 a.m. Wednesday through 10 p.m. Wednesday. This includes Crater Lake, Diamond Lake, Lake of the Woods and also Mount Ashland. This also includes the Cascade Passes where several inches to well over a foot will be possible. And the western parts of Siskiyou County above 4,500 feet, several inches to over a foot will be possible as well. Around Mount Shasta City, below 3,500 feet it is a winter weather advisory for that time period and above 3,500 feet it is a winter storm warning. So again, this is good news for Mount Shasta Ski Park where you're going to see several inches to well over a foot. But even around Mount Shasta City, there could be a light coating to up to four inches of snow. Once you get above the city level, though, there could be much more. East of the Cascades may see a light coating to four inches possible. However, north of about Chiliquin, up toward Chamalt, several inches will be possible. Maybe even getting closer to foot as you get closer to Crater Lake. All right, here's our pinpoint forecast. You can see the band of rain here, moderate to heavy at times, moving inland. So overnight into tomorrow morning. By 5 in the morning, this is all snow coming down. Moderate to heavy at times for the Cascades and possibly even the Siskiyou Pass. It's all rain here in Medford through the coast. And again, this rain will come down moderate to heavy at times. Then during the day on Wednesday, we have more chances for snow showers, but a lot of the heavy precip has started to break up. But east of the Cascades, it'll be all snow showers and snow levels will be coming down to 3,500 to 4,000 feet. They'll come down even more, possibly down to 2,000 feet late Wednesday night to Thursday morning. That means some of the lower passes, Sexton Summit may be getting some wet snow later Wednesday night into Thursday morning and more rain showers for the coast moving inland during the day on Thursday where again, we could see some low level wet snow showers, potentially even here in the Rogue Valley, very late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Our forecast for the coast, rain heavy at times tonight into tomorrow, one to four inches of rain possible right into the Illinois Valley. So this is a significant event coming up. Highs tomorrow in the 50s, and then we move inland. Lows will be in the 30s and 40s. Rain developing tonight, especially after midnight, and then rain likely tomorrow. Snow levels falling to around 3,500 to 4,000 feet on Wednesday. Here's some snow accumulations there for later tonight and also into Wednesday. Siskiyou Summit, one to four inches will be possible. Lake of the Woods, several inches to possibly up to a foot. And Mount Shasta City, right in the city, a coating to possibly around four inches. There could be some locally higher amounts as well. We have 41 and 46 for Medford. East of the Cascades, the wind kicks up. And over the mountains, you're going to have snow and wind. And for the valleys, a chance for snow or rain late. For the mountains, more snow and wind tomorrow coming down heavy at times. For the valleys, a chance for rain and snow. Most of it should be turning over to snow, though, as the snow levels start to fall. The winds will decrease more later in the day on Wednesday, but they'll still be out of the south 10 to 40 with some higher wind gusts. I have 31 and 40 for Klamath Falls. Seven-day forecast, more chances for snow and rain showers for the Rogue Valley on Thursday. A slight chance for rain and snow showers on Friday and a chance for rain on Saturday. Highs generally in the 40s and 50s in the seven day and lows generally in the 30s to around 40. Klamath Basin, 
Rain to snow on Wednesday. Snow showers on Thursday. A chance for snow showers Friday. A chance for rain and snow on Saturday. A slight chance next Tuesday. You have highs in the 30s and 40s. And lows generally in the 20s and 30s. Mount Shasta City, going to be some rain on Wednesday. But there could be a period of moderate to heavy snow as well. Either mixing in or changing over to snow. Snow showers on Thursday. And a chance for snow showers Friday. A chance for more rain. On Saturday for the coast, the rain coming down heavy at times on Wednesday, showers on Thursday, maybe even a thunderstorm, a chance for showers on Friday, windy with rain likely on Saturday, a chance for showers on Sunday and a chance for rain next Tuesday.